Hi, my name is Andrea. And my name is Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And we are here today with a taste test. We haven't done one of these in a long time. I miss them. I miss tasting. Me too. <laughs> Me too. So today we're going to be trying out some frozen dinners by famous chefs. Um, I found these dinners at Walmart. I'm not sure if they're available anywhere else or not, but I picked them up for $5.94 each. And what I've noticed, I visited a few different Walmarts and they all offer a different variety of the frozen meals. But we are going to be trying out four cheese macaroni from Chef Ramsay, Guy Fieri's lasagna with pepperoni marinara sauce, Andrew Zimmern's pulled pork mac and cheese, and Cardi Brown's country fried chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. So here is the four cheese mac and cheese. Here it is in the frozen state. You flip it over. You can see how many calories are in it. 530 calories, 1110 milligrams of sodium. And it says microwave it um, vented for four and a half to five and a half minutes. I'm gonna go for five minutes. Okay, so here is what it looks like after five minutes in the microwave and it's rested for one minute or two minutes as the instruction said. One thing I forgot to mention to you all, the four cheeses are mozzarella, fontana, parmesan, and provolone. So now we're gonna taste it. Yum, I love macaroni and cheese. Oh, I'm ready to taste it. All right, let's taste. Uh, we're having a bit of a tr bit of trouble getting it out. So it seems like the top layer of cheese is like um, a sheet of like slices of cheese, not like sprinkles, because we kind of had to really dig in hard to get a scoop. Yes, I got a big taste. Yeah, me too. Okay, cheers. Cheesy. Mm. Oh, salty. Mm. It's not bad. I, I like it. It's not bad. So I'm going to try to show you guys. So it's not like a baked macaroni and cheese. It is more like a creamy macaroni and cheese. It is a little salty. And honestly, I'm not <clears throat> really into like really big noodles. I really like a smaller elbow noodle. Oh, I'll take it all. Mm -hmm. But I know this is supposed to be like an elevated macaroni and cheese, but... Mm. Creamy, a little salty. Yeah, I probably should have maybe mixed it up first instead of eating it as is out of the microwave. I don't know. No, then the topping would, would be... But oh, the, the topping got all, all stuck together though. So the, when I try to dig in, the whole uh, macaroni and cheese is moving. Yeah. So it's trying to come out all in one piece. Yeah, yeah. But what would you rank this on a scale of one to five, with five being the highest? I'd go with a three. You go with a three? Yeah. Mm, I'd go with like a two or three on that one too. I don't know that I would repurchase this one, would you? Uh, I'd try it again. You would try it again? Yeah. Mm, I probably would not. Okay, so let's go, let's try the next one. Okay, so the next one we're trying is Andrew Zimmern's pulled pork mac and cheese. It says seasoned pork with caramelized onion sauce and elbow macaroni and cheese. So this one has 420 calories, uh, 1310 milligrams of sodium. You microwave it with the, oh no, I'm sorry. You lift the film on the bowl a little bit and then you microwave it for four minutes stir it up, microwave it for 30 seconds, let it sit for a minute or two, and here is what it looks like in its frozen state. Okay, so I just took this one out of the microwave and it is never going to look like this picture on the cover because you do have to stir it halfway through the cooking process. And it is kind of, even though it's been sitting for a minute, it's still kind of watery, it's kind of loose, but it is, you know, heat it up all the way and uh, it appears to be ready to go. So we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so in this one here, 
it looks like, uh, I don't know, it looks like mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah, it really does. But I'm gonna taste it. I'm sure you are. Are you gonna taste it all together with a pork by itself? All together. All together. Uh, I'm okay. an all together guy. Okay. I'm gonna taste just the pork by so itself. So this one is looser. I yeah. noticed that. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm having some of the mashed potatoes and gravy. It's not mashed potato. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Hmm. That pork has a, well, got a different flavor on there. You know what it tastes like to me? What? It tastes like, you know how pork has an old, like it, it can taste old? Like if you've had it in the fridge too long or the freezer too long, it has this kind of a peculiar taste. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like to me. I mean, I think the flavor is good, but it tastes old. Oh, it's no. not bad. I like that it's kind of juicy. Yeah, you like juicier stuff. Okay, now yeah. I didn't try the pasta yet and the caramelized onion sauce, so. I think it's good. I would give it a three, like the other one, but I, don't, I, I, I may try and, I may prefer this one more. I think I do too. This one is, to me, it has more flavor, even though the pork does taste a little funny to me. It definitely has more flavor than the Gordon Ramsay mac and cheese. Yes. Oh, Gordon Ramsay got taken down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try the next one. So now we are trying country kitchen fried chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy by Cardi Brown. Flip it over here. Um, 410 calories, 1000 milligrams of sodium, and this one is similar to the others that we try as far tried as far as um, lift the film on the bowl slightly to vent it, cook it for four minutes, lift the film and stir it, and then microwave it for another minute. So the only thing that I don't like about stirring up uh, the food is I really am not one that really likes my food mixed up all together. But anyway, we're going to go with it. And here is what it looks like in its frozen state. Okay, so here is what it looks like right out of the microwave. I am going to let this sit for a minute or two, like it says. And I forgot to mention, this one is described as savory golden fried chicken served on home-style mashed potatoes topped with brown gravy and sweet corn kernels. Okay, so we are about to try our third frozen meal. As you can see, we're in different clothes. It's the next day, because we couldn't eat four frozen meals. In... I could try though. Yeah, I'm sure you probably could. So here we go. All right, this one doesn't look too appetizing to me. Now, it definitely doesn't look like the box, and I'm not a huge fan of microwave chicken. So we will see here. Okay, are you gonna try chicken or the other stuff or all of it all together? Oh, well, I may try all together. Okay. I'm gonna try to try the chicken, but, ooh, chicken, <laughs> just, chicken just fell apart. I have a little piece of chicken here. I got, I got it all. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. A lot of breading on that chicken. That's what I was about to say. I got mostly breading. I don't think I got any chicken. Let me try. <laughs> That's what fell off. The breading fell off the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got some more now. And I've got some mashed potatoes and corn too. Mm-mm. Still didn't get any chicken. It's you all breading. You have to take the whole nugget thing. I so think I, I got I, what was left. I taste black pepper a lot, which I'm not. I do taste the black pepper, but I do like black pepper. Uh, this one, I don't think it tastes as good as the macaroni and cheese. Really? No. The Gordon Ramsay mac well, no, and cheese? Which no. one? They, they, what's the other one we had? Oh, the French the, onion one? Yes, yeah, the French onion, I Let think, was my favorite so here. far. Actually, the Gordon Ramsay may beat this one. Hmm. I think I prefer this one out of the other two that we've had. I think it has... I have more flavor. 
even though it's just breading. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has black pepper and other flavors. Definitely more savory. Even though the, I didn't, I don't think I got any chicken meat. I mean, the breading was pretty good. Let me try one more time. Yeah, I've got a whole nugget by itself. You yeah. can't shake. Let me try. Okay, I have a whole nugget. Let me try. No. Mm-hmm. You still like it? Mm-hmm. Okay. This one I would give a four out of five. No, I'm still on the three, but <laughs> the lower threes. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try our final frozen dinner. Okay, so here is the final frozen dinner. Here's what it looks like frozen. Let me flip it over for you guys. So this one is 440 calories, 1,340 milligrams of sodium, similar microwave instructions. Uh, lift the film to minute, microwave it for four minutes, stir it up and microwave it for another minute and a half and let it sit for a minute or two. And this is described as mini lasagna noodles in a traditional marinara sauce, dressed up with a pepperoni twist and topped with mozzarella. Okay, so here is what it looks like out of the microwave after it has rested for a couple of minutes. Okay, so this is our final meal. Okay, here it is. Yes, Guy Fieri. All right, this is the one I was least looking forward to. Why? Uh, we went to uh, Guy's, no, Chicken Guy oh, yeah, in yeah. Florida, yeah. and I wasn't impressed, so. Yeah, it's a chicken finger restaurant. It was at um, Disney, Disney, Disney something, Disney Springs or, or whatever it's called. Downtown Disney or whatever mm -hmm. it's called now, I don't know. But we waited in line for a while to eat there and it, it wasn't that great. Right, so. So that scarred you for life? Yes. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't look anything special to me. No, let me see. Let me try to get some pasta and some. I got some pasta here. Some meat sauce. I got some stuff. Okay. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. It's okay. Nothing special. Mm, no. I don't know if there's ricotta cheese or something in there. I don't know, it's okay. I'm not a huge ricotta cheese fan, and if it's not, I don't know what kind of cheese it is. I guess I should have looked at the package. But I think there's some ricotta or something in there. Something. Maybe. Mm. So. This one, <laughs> this is also a three for me. Oh, good grief. <laughs> so they're all mostly just okay. And nothing stood out spectacular to me. The the one with the pork kind of thing is still the best one. Oh, maybe the I'll give caramelized it a, onion one? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll say three and a half for that one. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the ones are three, maybe 3.1, 3.2, whatever. And I'm trying to decide between this one and the uh, last one, which one's my least favorite. Oh, wow, okay. So I would probably give this one a three as well. I think it's just okay. My favorite one was the last one we had, the Cardi Brown fried chicken. And actually, as I was eating it, I saw some potato skin. So they, I'm assuming they used real potatoes. Okay. It was good. <laughs> they used real black pepper. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.